Right, just uh, looking finally at girth. Uh, on the previous one where we looked at this, uh, if I just get this uh, drawn back, you can see that what we did last time is we measured the girth, but it was a, a nice rectangular shape. So all of the measurements that we included were all what we call external corners because they are all 90 degrees uh, facing the external uh, face of the, the elevations. Now here we can see we have an internal corner. So I just want to show what that does to a girth calculation. Um, so again I've used the same wall setup as we did last time. So we've got a 300 millimetre um, width cavity wall overall. So again we've got 150 in from the face to the centre. Okay, so when we do these, if I just, um, I'll letter these ones up this time. I'm going to call this A, this B, this one C, this one D, this one E, and this one F. So, again, I'm just going to title this girth, just so everyone looking at this knows exactly what we're doing. So, trench A equals... Well, put this in still in millimeters because I'm not putting into the calculator just yet. So we've got, as is shown on the drawing, 14,500, which is 14 and a half meters. But again, remember that we want from the face to the center. So from the face to the center, we are deducting because that is the overall measurement. Again, from face all the way over to the other face wall. If we had a cavity there would be measuring to there, brickwork, blockwork. So our dimension there is 14 and a half, but we want to come into the center, so we're gonna deduct 150 twice. So we are gonna minus 300. B, again, the same, external corners. So we're gonna have 13, 300 minus 300. C, two external corners we're going to have 7 500 minus 300 D is an internal corner now with an internal corner you can see here if we deduct this 150 there we've got to add 150 to get to the center so in effect all we're doing is just shifting that move uh, measurement in this way and in that way but they're both moving the same so we can keep these figures because again we've got an internal corner on DE here where this dimension we want to move in 150 to get to the center but here we have to move in the other way to get to the center so we're, again we're just shifting the whole thing across so these two dimensions don't alter so D will remain as 5 meters and E will remain as 7 meters and then F finally would be 9 meters 300 minus 300 so that is what we would do for the girth we would get a total of all of these this one is already 5 meters I'll change these as I do them ready for the calculator into meters this one is simple enough because 9 uh, meters 300 minus 300 is going to be 9 the same as 14 300 minus 300 is going to be 14 uh, and this one will be simple enough because all we're gonna, gonna do there is 7 meters 500 minus 300 is going to be 7.2 and 14 500 minus uh, 300 is going to be 14.2 so when we get the total girth of this one like I said the main thing we're focusing on really is the fact that on an internal corner we do not change uh, the dimension of it so we get the last one out of the way 14.2 plus 14 do that right 14 plus 7.2 plus uh, 5 plus 7 plus 9 equals 
So we can see here we have the total length or the girth of this foundation is 56 meters and 400, so roughly 56 and a half meters. Um, we'll conclude this um, by saying that the width is going to be uh, 450 again and we're going to have the depth um, we're going to say we're going to be in clay soils so this one we're going to have uh, a good depth of 1.2 1.2 meters which is just a little bit over the minimum depth for clay soils um, so if we just go and we will have a total amount of concrete on here shortly so we have 56.4 uh, is the length or the girth the width is going to be 0.45 multiplied by the depth which is going to be 1.2 so we can see that we need 30 and I'll call it a half meters cubed uh, how many lorry loads is that? Um, a lorry normally the traditional ones are, are a 6 meter lorry uh, you can get 8 meter lorry loads um, but again if we divide that by 6 we can see that we want 5 lorry load plus a little bit so what you'd order there would be 5 load plus if you are ordering on the telephone okay